Police in Zamfara State has busted a six-pound gang alongside a 20-year-old boy who masterminded the kidnapping of his brother and recovered a sum of 30 million naira as ransom. This was revealed in a press statement on Friday evening by the Police Command Public Relations Officer, SP Mohamed Sheo. The names of the suspects include Thomas Yao, Abdul Samad Mohamed, Bel Abdullahi, Abubakar Namadi, Suleiman Gabriel, and Christopher Gabriel. Addressing journalists in Gosha on Friday, SP Sheo said the suspect, Thomas Yao, confessed that 10 million naira was paid by each of the kidnapped victims, including his mother, for a total of 30 million naira in ransom. On 12 February 2023, Zampara Police Command, through its community policing engagement, acted on intelligence information that led to the busting of kidnapping syndicate and the arrest of six serial kidnappers who have been terrorizing different villages in Kaduna, Kano, and other neighboring states such as Zamfara, Sokoto, and so on. In the course of investigation, it was discovered that the suspect had carried out series of kidnapping where unspecified a uh, number of people were abducted and millions of dollars conducted as a ransom. Each suspect further narrated the number of kidnapping he participated as well as the role he played in each kidnapping. Surprisingly and unfortunately, one of the suspects, Thomas Lea, who confessed that sometimes last year he must have minded the kidnapping of his own mother and the others. As a result of the kidnapping, they collected the sum of 30 million naira from the relations as a well. In another development, a female gun runner who specialized in supplying hands to bandits and criminal elements in Zemfara and neighboring state was also arrested. According to the police person, 325 rounds of live AK-47 ammunition were recovered from the suspect, Fatima Sani. On 13 February 2023, police detectives arrested the above mentioned female gun runner in possession of 325 rounds of live ammunition. Following the intelligence information obtained about her movement with the set exhibit from Latvia in National State, the electorious bandit scheme team. Abolating in Zafra Forest. In the course of interrogation, the suspect confessed to have been into the business and that she had earlier supplied three AK 47 rifles and 1,000 rounds of AK 47 life ammunition to bandits operating within Zafra. The PPR narrated that intelligence gathering led to the apprehension of Rabbi Umar with 1,000 year registered MTN SIM card, which are allegedly sold to bandits and other criminal elements. On 15 February 2023, upon an intelligence that the above named suspect was seen with uncountable number of registered MTN SIM cards, police operatives swung into action, arrested the suspect, and conducted on the spot search. The above exhibits were recovered from him. In the course of investigation, suspect confessed that the SIM cards are for sale to customers who are looking for registered SIM cards. And it is well known to everyone that it is no longer permitted to sell registered SIM cards of any network. The command therefore stated that an investigation is in progress and all suspects will be prosecuted.